Well, we finally know what caused those three months of earthquake swarms in Yellowstone. This was the um, previous earthquake swarm, not the one that just happened in uh, January, not a few week, uh, days ago. Uh, this is uh, the previous one to this. Now, researchers believe they know now know what caused the swarm of earthquakes that occurred in and around Yellowstone National Park active supervolcano system last summer, and no, it's not the imminent doom of a looming apocalyptic eruption. It's known as the 2017 Maple Creek Swarm. This batch of earthquakes was one of the most persistent earthquake swarms observed beneath the western edge of the park. The main episode lasted more than three months. It produced thousands of earthquakes, and though most were very small, a few were very large, large enough to be felt throughout the park. Writing in the USGS Caldera Chronicles, the weekly column written by scientists and collaborators of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, the US Geological Survey, USGS, seismologist David Shelley says that the patterns of this swarm suggest that the earthquakes were likely caused by water diffusing through the cracks in the Earth's subfront surface and not the movement of magma, although that can sometimes generate earthquake swarms at volcanic sites. Quote, the movement, the involvement of this water may be in part explained why these swarms are sometimes long-lived, why they expand dramatically over time, and why the fault structures are so complex, Shelley wrote. And, the, uh, and added, this also may explain why swarms are common in volcanic areas where water is a byproduct released from deep magma as it cools. We often see chemical evidence of this type of water as surface springs and fumaroles. Now, water under the deep crust is under great pressure. It's caused to migrate up and sometimes sideways when it interacts with cooler, brittle rocks that are already stressed by tectonic and volcanic processes. It can trigger earthquakes. Quote, in fact, earthquakes themselves may allow the fluid to migrate more efficiently through faults in the rocks. And quote, this is what he said, noting that the earthquakes were not accompanied by other signs of volcanic unrest, indicating that the caldera is not going to blow its lid anytime soon. Now, the swarm was captured in great detail, greater detail than any other before, namely due to investments in more advanced seismic technologies allowing scientists to have more data than ever to detect and precisely locate the earthquakes in the swarm, which can provide evidence of the causes of seismic swarms in the area. A research technique that involves comparing waveforms of recorded earthquakes provided their locations with even greater precision, allowing scientists to detect and locate thousands of other earthquakes that may have otherwise been too small to spot. As Shelley notes, the earthquake swarms are like this. Uh, this is uh, business as usual for the caldera and reflect ongoing low level tectonic and volcanic processes in Yellowstone. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.